focused and he wasn't focused and there was part of him losing last night. He wasn't focused. On a personal level, were you sitting in front of the telly last night thinking, ah, oh, 21 years ago that was me? Were you reminiscing? No, because, you know, I knew from the first moment that Donald Curry signed that contract, he was doomed to lose. I remember at the press conference in, um, in um, Atlantic City at Caesars, um, there's about 500 people in this press conference, it's packed and all that, you know. So they said, Lloyd Hannigan, um, we've got the great Donald Curry here, the Cobra. Um, what do you think you can beat Donald Curry? I said, it's my destiny. <laughs> they laugh at me. They feel themselves laughing at me. So I'm getting really upset because everybody's laughing at me. So again, you know, they said to me, oh, I'm like, you know, Lloyd, um, nah, originally I'm from Jamaica. Uh, originally I'm from Jamaica and I came here as a baby. So um, they said to me, Lloyd, what does it, why do you think you, you can beat the great Cobra Donald Curry? I said, well, you know, I'm thinking, you know, I come from Jamaica. I know, I know there's a lot of snakes in Jamaica, right? So uh, I said, well, I've never seen a snake beat a mongoose. So they're, they're laughing the hell off again. They're from the floor laughing. What are you talking about snake and mongoose? Because, you know, because there's a lot of mongoose in Jamaica uh -huh. and they brought them from Africa to clear the snakes away, you know. So, so that's the way you can get rid of the snakes in Jamaica. <laughs> so, I'm, so I'm thinking like that. They're laughing themselves off. Then I'm getting really upset and really angry now, right? So this is it. This is it. Oh, anyway, Donald Curry next fight is to fight Marvin Hagen for $10 million. So I thought, hey, this guy's going to fight me. He's talking about fighting Marvin Hagen after me for $10 million. So they said, okay, I'll tell you what, this press conference is getting a bit boring now. Let's go downstairs to the, the boardwalk because it was an Atlantic City and it's seized there to take some pictures because we didn't have no pictures being Donald Curry. So we walked down to the boardwalk to take some pictures. So, you know, you, you have the face-off with Ricky Hatton and um, maybe have the face-off. So we never had the face-off. So we're going to the beach now, we're going to have the face-off. So we turn around to look at each other. This is the first time I'm really actually getting close to Donald Curry. Now I'm fuming. So, so instead of having a fight there and then, like, you know, get, I couldn't go that close because we'd probably have a fight. Have a fight. So um, on the beach now, we're there. I turn around to do the face-off with him. I, and I'm really steaming that. All I said was, listen, i see you Saturday night, pal. And I walked off. Now, I walked off. I didn't take no picture with him. I just said, see you Saturday night, pal. And I walked off. Now, that is the first time Donald Curry said to himself, oops, yeah, you I'm, in, don't I'm, 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 I'm in trouble. Oh, this guy is dead scared of me. Mm. And I think that's the first time Donald Curry realised He's, 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 he's banging he's trouble. In trouble. Yeah. Well, he was in trouble because, as I say, I remember, I remember the fight. You broke his nose. I think you, you, you certainly did a job in him. Is that what, what I did? What next, <laughs> life? What, what next do you think for Ricky Hatton? That is a big question tonight. I think Ricky Hatton should have a nice holiday. One thing I didn't like what Ricky Hatton does in his life is when he's not boxing, he's drinking. He, he does all that drinking guineas and drinking this and drinking that. I think she cut the boxers don't shouldn't do that. They shouldn't drink. Well, sports people shouldn't. People shouldn't drink in general, really, truly. I always look at glass now and then. But he does all that drinking, and that really upset me in the sense that how can he's boxing and drinking? I mean, I would never have done something like that when I was fighting. I like, can drinking untold drink. I thought it was really crazy. So he's got to look after himself. Yeah, he's got to have a mm, holiday. I stop drink. But then he should he should come back and, and and carry on boxing. You don't think he should call it a day? No, I don't think he should call it a day. But I think. The drinking has affected him a little bit because I didn't like the way when he, he got hit, he succumbed too easy. And I thought that was part of the drinking. And I, I think he's not living a clean life as, he, he, he should, as a fighter. He should live a cleaner life. Cut the drinking out. Now, uh, there's a, a long list of people that uh, he might face. So uh, let's have a look at uh, Everybody some of those to names. Um, who do you think he might fancy most out of uh, out of those? Ka Gavin Rees, uh, Ricardo Torres, Junior Witter. Well, I think the one he should stay away from is Junior Witter. I he's think he should stay away from Junior Witter. He's a tough man. He's just a wrong star. He's just a wrong star. You think Witter would beat him? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I, so I, the, the other three then, what do you think? Well, Any one of the other three? Probably Gavin Rees, being yeah. British. 
so he he won't have no funny American style or funny Mexican style. Mm. He'd be like a British style fighter like himself. So you know it wouldn't take too much um, figuring out how to beat him because he's English and he starts English. So it's not it's not too much complication there. So if I had to take a chance, I would I would go for that and get back in there and get back to what he's good at winning yeah, fights. Yes, but um, he's you see his coach. A lot of it, lot of it to do with coaching. You know what I mean? I mean, his coaches, all they do is get him fit. They can't teach him nothing. If they could teach him something, they would have, they would have teach him not to fight with his face. That's why he get cuts up all the time, he beat up all the time. It was so easy for me with it. It was so easy. It was like, it was like oh, Ricky Hatton's on him all the time. And all. Yeah, but you're fighting with your face. Yeah. And all male was just, all male with had to do. It was nothing cute. It was just straight punches, jabs, straight right down the middle. And what made me laugh, okay, Ricky Hatton should have this as a, from his as a child. What made me laugh, I laughed my head off, is when they were saying, he was using his elbow and his arms and all this. That's what you do. See, when you throw a punch, I do this. I knock the punch off with my hand. Bosh. If I do this, I cannot punch you with this because my hand's out there. If I do that, I can't punch you with that hand. My hand's out there. If I do this, right, my hand's still there, I can go bop, bop. <laughs> right? Let's go bump, bump, bang, bang. Right? I can do that. Or if I do this, if I, if I do that, I've catch the punch there. I'm not catch that. See, once I do this, I give myself an angle. I can come up with left hook and I'm back over there. You see, because boxing is like war. You have the offense and you have the defense. My offense, you know, you see, that's it. See? so I got my defense there. My offense, right? And I got my defense. So if you miss, you come and protect it there. And also, when I do this, I protect my chin. So every time I throw a punch, if I do that, a jab... You've got me going here, Lloyd. I'm going to start training this week. <laughs> so if, I, if I jab, you see, my shoulder's up there. So if you're trying to come over the top of there, you hit my shoulder. Got you. I'll, I'll use my shoulder to ride the punch. So in other words, Mayweather had the lot. He had the lot. So he, he absolutely had that. And uh, something tells me you like his flash style, do you? And the way he dresses. Not them suggesting no, in no, any no, way no, that no, you no, dress no, flamboyantly, no, 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 you see? That is his character, that is his makeup. If you take all those things away from him, he probably couldn't fight the way he does and do those things. And another thing was, well, okay, okay, who could look as good as me like, just like this? <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Lloyd, fantastic so, having you in tonight. Oh, Th thanks so much for reacting uh, to, to the big fight for us. Great seeing you. Thanks okay, so much my for pleasure. And I love that coat. I love fantastic. it. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Coming up, uh,